my crown So you can choose your weapon of choice And this time around We're just gone, go below the belt Pick me up Initially this band was just an idea that a buddy of in mine had for an FFA talent show. Um, we we thought, hey, you know what? Let's skip some class. Let's play some music. What's better than that? So we we did the talent show thing, and once that wrapped up, we thought, hey, this is pretty cool. Good stuff. Let's let's keep it going. And uh, called bro, and um, he learned the bass. After time, he became our front man. Um, Picked Justin up on the lead guitar, not too, uh, not too long after. And um, a little farther down the line, they got rid of, you know, Travis's buddy or whatever. And um, that's where Callan Divide was, as a three-piece. And uh, they went through a couple members, and eventually, um, I come in the picture. And it, you know, it's been life-changing since then. You can turn it. Happy's probably the coolest song ever. Uh, it's it's a relationship song that we and we we've never written a relationship song like this. It's a pissed off song. It's aggressive. It's mean and it's it's a it's a heartbreak song from another standpoint. It was well written. My brother Colton he wrote it and uh, every time I hear it it just it just kind of pumps me up. The song carries its own energy so. That's the great thing about it, and I think when we play it live, people capture that too. And you know, there's certain parts of that song where people can sing along, people can dance with us, and it's just a great thing. And I'll cut and run. Cut and run. <clears throat> That's a, just an in-your-face type rock song. It's kind of got a 90s feel to it. Um, at first when it starts off, you're like, kind of sounds like Arabian Nights or something, but then it just cut and run and bam! It's just in your face. It's just such a great song. I love to play that song, uh, the lead. The guys are just like, go for it on the guitar. And I was like, all right. So I went for it. And it turned out to be my favorite song in the album. So. She's not even mine, and I'll be gone for the light. Sweeps into the bed when she opens her eyes, and I'll cut and run. When the dust settles in this sleepy little town, I'll be chasing the sun. Don't fall down on me. Pirate, uh, that's another tune I wrote with my friend Lynn Pierce, great songwriter. And I come to the I come to his house so to write and I told him I had this idea. We were, you know, eating supper or whatever we were doing before we were gonna get together and write. And uh, he's like, Well lay it on me. I have this idea of a homeless man wanting to be a pirate, and of course he chuckled. One of my favorite parts about this song is going in the practice room every week and Garrett pitched the idea of the song and every week we came up with something cooler to make the song much bigger than it was. Uh, it's one of Garrett's favorite songs and it turned out to be one of my favorite songs by the end of the album. Cast Me Away is the coolest song ever. That's the coolest one. Uh, because it's got the feel of the song, like right when you first hear it, when the bass line comes in, you're like, this is going to be a good song to listen to. Cast Me Away, a uh, song written by Garrett. He presented that to us um, at rehearsal one day, and we thought we had our, our, our five songs figured out for the EP until we heard that one. And we moved some stuff around because that just really went really well with what we had going already. I don't know how to express my feelings, but I can damn sure write a man song. Yeah, yeah. White Rock 
Lady is probably my favorite um, track of on this album. Uh, it's basically something we've never done before. Uh, it's just rock and roll. We just rocked out on it, and it is it was just balls to the wall. A lot of people tell us that we're really lively anyway, but when we throw that song down, it definitely just raises from like here to here. It's crazy. Studio is unbelievable. Uh, I've got to, the chance to work in multiple studios in you know a few select states here and there, and that's by far probably the best studio I've got to work in, and the best atmosphere, and it was ran very well and professionally. And you walk into Cisco, Texas, you're not going to expect to see a multi-million dollar studio just sitting in your lap. So it was a lot of fun to get to do that. Uh, Seven Pillar Studio is the nicest building I've ever walked into. Period. It was such a cool experience. It had the best gear you could use, uh, top engineer you could ever want. So it was a great place. Tim Kimsey, I, when I looked up his resume and heard about him, I couldn't believe we were getting someone of that caliber to engineer um, that album. Another thing I really noticed was Colby and Tim worked so well together. I haven't really seen anybody work that well as far as being in a recording studio, so they definitely had the job cut out for them and they did great on it. about this is an EP. Um, it's the, the third studio project we've done. Um, however, this EP we approached totally different than anything else that we've recorded thus far. Uh, we wanted to really capture the live essence sound that we, that we deliver every weekend. This album, by far, I, I'm more proud of this project than I am in anything else I've done musically. Kobe Elston is a great, he's a great guy and he's a great producer. Uh, we got him to produce this album. Um, and no, knowingly when we got him to, to come in to do this, we knew that he was, he had an ear for live sound. Oh yeah, pre-production for this album, you know, we worked a lot on that and uh, he was there for our rehearsals and he put in his input, we listened and he, you know, and it just worked out great. We got along so well and he was a pleasure to work with. It's, you know, if you were to ask an old sailor what that term means, they would say it's to, you know, turn the ship against the wind. And, you know, that's what we're trying to do with this thing. Yeah, we want to make a statement with this album. You know, this is Callahan the Vibe. This is who we are. This is our sound. 